Welcome back. It's been three years since market regulator SEBI announced norms that allow real estate investment trusts or REITs to be set up, but not a single player has signed up for launching such funds till now. While SEBI and government are trying to do all they can to spark some excitement around REITs, the efforts don't seem to be yielding desired results. CNBC TV 18's Kevin Lee and Kritika Saxena filed this report. Ever since SEBI paved the way for REIT listings in India, it has been trying to push developers to take the plunge. This year, the government joined those efforts as well. In fact, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley, in his budget speech, exempted REITs from dividend distribution tax. But despite tax waivers and several SEBI consultation papers, a REIT listing in India remains a distant dream. And it's not just because of regulatory hurdles. REITs have been successful in New York and Singapore. And while the Indian real estate sector might share similarities with these markets, the interest rate regime is a key differentiator. A return of 8 to 9 percent may be attractive in countries where government bonds yield 2 percent or less, but not so much in India. Say Indian paper offers 7, 7.5 percent. Can a REIT offer a post-tax return of 14, 15 percent? Looks doubtful. Any investor is taking an exposure on REIT, they have to actually look at a 3 to 5 year kind of horizon, which an average Indian investor probably does not have that mindset to stay for a long time. To its credit, SEBI has tried to sweeten the deal. The latest consultation paper suggests that 20% of a REIT portfolio can comprise under construction projects. It has even suggested that hotels and hospitals be brought under the gamut of real estate assets which REITs can invest in. While developers appreciate the effort, they are still concerned that public interest in REITs isn't high enough to experiment with the listing. If the mix of the, of the properties of the, of the portfolio is done, in a manner where they have got hotels, hospitals, convention centers, under construction project, and the rent generating projects, then I'm sure a smart investment manager can actually churn out a better return for the investors, which is always going to be attractive. Some of the sponsors who are likely uh, players in the market today, they are also taking stock of things in their end, that whether they should really come out, they should be the first mover, or they should wait for somebody to do it, see the experience, and then go for it. SEBI has set up a special committee to address developers' concerns on REIT regulations and is expected to come out with a final set of norms by October this year. But it might have to look beyond financial numbers into the realm of marketing to ensure the investment vehicle finds takers in India. In Mumbai with Kevin Lee, Kritika Saxena. Well, it's time to tell you what's in store this weekend on CNBC TV 18's Weekender. Shruti Mishra caught up with ad maverick Piyush Pandey, known for his iconic ads like Incredible India and the most recent Abki Bar Modi Sarkar campaign. Piyush candidly shares some of his most memorable ads and memories. Take a look and have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for watching.